See, Solace has always uh, keep on monitoring what is the uh, technology requirement which is there in the each and every market, not only in India, globally also. So what we had uh, keep on seeing the trend has been changed for mainly for energy storage system where uh, dynamic price changes are happening. So inverter has to be smart enough to uh, support uh, customer application with off-peak load or peak load. So for on the same, we are uh, having a product which are uh, hybrid inverters for residential and for CNI and also we have now got a product for a big commercial and industrial rooftop application. So talking about uh, that's the new product which we have introduced uh, in REI also this year for India market and, um, and uh, for utility we have got a new 350 kilowatt with uh, 6 MPPD inverter which is also a new uh, optimized design with uh, some more key function which are related to grid compliances. See, we have uh, a complete uh, solution in hybrid uh, starting from residential. We have a lowest capacity residential inverter from 3 kilowatt and it has uh, uh, going up to 8 kilowatt and for small uh, commercial in the three phase application. So it starts from 8 kilowatt three phase to 15 kilowatt three phase low voltage battery. And uh, for commercial application, we have having a high voltage hybrid inverter starting from 30 kilowatt and the biggest capacity inverter of hybrid is 125 kilowatt. It comes with a lot of advantages. So uh, it, it is not just uh, uh, preferring for one particular segment, it is it is can be utilized in all uh, uh, three areas but yes right now the adapt adaptations are more happening at the residential se side as pm suragar yojana has already been uh, or has been introduced uh, uh, one year back so now there is an addition of hybrid inverter so that is also going to give an advantage because for pm suragar yojana also residential hybrid inverter can be uh, used and uh, for, uh, for CNI application, as we are uh, seeing that we want to go to net zero uh, by 2050, so uh, we need to cut down on the carbon emission. So renewable is the one, one source where you can generate electricity. So hybrid is one where you can uh, generate uh, uh, energy from PV and store into the battery. And also like uh, when you have a big uh, medium sized uh, industry or a, a factory so we can scale up that uh, 125 kilowatt inverter to 1.25 megawatt mean num adding you know, four uh, 10 numbers into in parallel so an average uh, or average or medium sized factory can be easily driven by the renewable energy source so you cannot you can get rid of of diesel gen set See, uh, it's an all-in-one uh, product. Uh, it also can, it is integrated directly with the battery. Don't need to like have a sta separate uh, uh, standalone system for uh, battery energy because it, that uh, uh, inverter has all functionality. It can do PCS functionality like charging and discharging. It has a PV inverter function like an on-grid inverter. It can also work as an uh, um, uh, smart load or it can also uh, do this um, uh, on grid to off grid uh, in less than uh, uh, 20 milliseconds of course the, see as the train goes uh, when 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 the advancement in technology keep on happening over a period of time so the product would uh, will be always going to be get uh, uh, optimized day by day by adding some more features and function getting more uh, 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 design change so that will going to definitely help uh, to reduce down the cost and at the same time the overall system cost of uh, hybrid uh, application where the lithium is lithium ion batteries are the one which is actually the major part of the uh, cost which is involved so there at that side also the prices are a little bit uh, changing over a period of time so that will also going to uh, help uh, in terms of making uh, uh, this whole system uh, viable.